We've got done on our job early, so we're going to have a crack at this. Elliot's here. I don't know if he'll want to be on camera, so we'll see. We're going to make the body. We're going to do a test piece first, and then once we've done a test piece, we'll know where the frame wants to be. So that is the plan. Let's have a go. Big digger. I told you he might not speak. He's, he's here. He's, he's going to make the panels, this lad, and I'm going to make the frame. So, put you on a time lapse and we'll do it. Push a bit. Gonna go there. We've decided, and the side's gonna come up, curl round, bolt in the top, and bolt in the side, and then we'll have an inspection hatch at the top, filling your oil and checking your water. And that's the plan. So that lad there, it's disappearing out the door. He's gonna make the panels. And I'm just going to make some plates that will stitch on here that the frame sits to. I was going to make the frame removable, but I don't think it needs to be because it's going to be so small, you can work around it. As long as the panels bolt onto the frame, I think it'll be fine. So that is the plan. So we're going to CNC some plates out. I've cut all the steel, tack it together, get it on. see the brackets out. That one's gonna get bolted through there. That one bolted through there with a 30 mil off. Elliot's made these and they're gonna go on the side. And that's what's gonna make the digger side. That has a door to go in that one and a few other bits. But I think we'll stick it on a time lapse and bolt these in and start tacking the frame together on the vehicle. So Let's do it. The mounting brackets bolted on. Elliot's just making the frame. I've just folded a bit of style into that panel that goes down the side. We're gonna just um, make the rest of the frame, tack it together, and we'll try some sides on. So we'll just keep time lapsing today because we haven't got long, so we're just gonna get as much done as possible. Is Elliot's gonna tack that onto there? I'm doing nothing. He's gonna put his flowery hat on and he's gonna tack this on here. Like that, nice and straight. I'm gonna cut this down and we're gonna cap it. And then this is gonna be a separate panel to that. That is what we've decided, isn't it? Decision. Man with no voice. Man with no voice. So we'll see what he does, because that needs to be nice and straight. See, see how skillful he is. And I'll cut this down, and I'll see how skillful I am. We're making it nice and straight. And then that door's going to, like, a little door on the side. A little door on the side to get to that. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Doing. Let's do it. A 
and look at that for a result. Oh. Ooh. It's nice that. Little well down there. Little well and dress down there. And then just lock to put on. So that's how to do. This side finish. And then the back door, innit? Hey, he's happy. He's happy. He's done some tacking down this corner. And there it is, look. Look at that. Fixing to go in here. And then a little bit of a weld and dress to go down some of these. And then seats go on. Elliot's going to do the back door. I'm going to do the side door, so we'll stick it on the time lapse. And uh, yeah, we'll get these uh, doors on. We're going to fold the back door now while it's fresh in our mind, aren't we? It is. While the machine's set up and see about just tacking it on. I'm just going to put this other side on to match that one. So Elliot, Elliot's folded these bad boys. They're gonna get chopped and they're gonna go in here. And that's what's gonna cap the end of that. So we're gonna just chop this down, weld that on there. Let's do it. Sides on. Oh, look at that. Woo! So the back door's going to go on. Obviously, that'll pull nice and tight on there. Same with that side. Elliot's just doing the back door. So we're going to get that in and then see how it folds. And then we're going to stop because we've got this thing here to do outside. Got some mud guards to make for this because you don't like the rubber flaps. So we'll see how this goes and then the load of strengthening to do underneath. Hauling for the exhaust, the little pea shooter to stick out. Oh, look at that. So all we need to do now is a couple of folds up there, isn't it, Elliot? Right. And then cap the ends off. But I think, I don't know if I'm biased, but I think that is going to look cool. We just need some louvers in it, don't we? Or some heat vents or something. But we're just going to have a go... We never really thought about folding that. Well, I didn't. It's going to be hard. We might have to cut it and weld it. But we'll have a go, should we? Right, this trailer that's in for some mud guards have a bit of a common problem of um, cracking up. It's big. So lifting rams mount, they start to crack up round here. So they have a bit of a problem. You can see this one's actually started. So what we're going to do is clean that out, weld it up, and we're just going to tie another gusset into here. Um, so on that side, that, that side started to crack. So we'll weld that up. It just, they just peel off, but then we've got some gussets that come right up here, put a welded on and fill that gap. So what we've got with, if you've got some of these plates, look at them, burnt out. So we've just got two on each side. Really, on this side, I should have made it one piece that lapped over and it made it a lot stronger, but I just copied the other side it won't matter what we'll do is we'll run this in a few times build it up and make it nice and strong get a plate in here puddle all them holes in and then on the other on the other side i've gouged that out it isn't cracked that side because obviously the rams are pushing so it only splits that way off as you can see i just need to clean that a little bit more but under there i've gouged it out ready so what we're going to do is get these tacked on them bits in there look very nice very nice so i just need to run around the back and then bit from that side and do that side watch this look nah i am that good i am that good <laughs> i 
So it's all running vertical up down there, just a bit more strength. So that's multi lapped. That one's just run stoved in. But all the pull is it up like that beam's pushing against that. So we've got a good weld in there and all them puddled in. So it's not going to rip that off. That's why I just I did that one downhand just for more strength. That one's been running. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Same with that one, happy with them. Lovely. Elliot's got all these mud guards off on the floor. I'm gonna clean them off and put one back on the back because I think it look nice. We've done a little sample. Don't, don't panic, this is getting painted at one point by us. So lovely, can't wait for that. But that's the idea of what we're gonna put on the side and then the mud guards front and rear. So we'll go see how he's getting on. So he's got the sides all um all marked out lads over there with his cap backward looking cool not welding anymore so don't need it backwards doing a little sample got your sample nice test test bend and bend these get his angle oh, we've been busy outside look little elliot's been in here Look at him, I think he's a top bender. Look at that for a bend. And then look at these, look. Oh, that's gonna be nice, that, isn't it? So you've got them ones over there bent. We're just doing these. Top bender. Let us all know what you think if Elliot is a top bender. He's not, he's not denying it. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this. And I'm gonna start just tacking them on where I think we want them. And Elliot's obviously making that back bit now. So we're going to look to get that in. So let's clean it. Cleaned up, tacked on. So there's a bit to go down the back, another one to go on the front. But I like, I like in the look of that. Bit of style towards it, doesn't it? Look at it. Let's get the ta next bit tacked on. And it's doing the front and the rear. That'll want mitre in. But yeah, I like it. Chamfered that off now. Hopefully Elliot's chamfered his. And we're just going to try this in and see how it sits. Just cut that down a little bit to make it a bit more stealth, is the word. So what I have to do is either bring a bracket off there or bring a bracket off there. But it's not that bad. Probably could get away without a bracket, just a safety. So Elliot's just doing the back. We're going to drop that on and we'll get a feel of what it looks like. But I'm, uh, I like it. But like I said, I'm always biased. The only thing we have to do is where we've joined it in the middle, we're just gonna put a piece, a decorative piece up and onto the side and weld it on and make it look, make it look like it's a hanger. Because obviously that is over eight foot. So there's no point in doing an eight foot piece. Might as well do off a 1.5 sheet and yeah, some big tires. Wouldn't mind them on your four wheel drive, would you? Well, that is. A little bit of a goes back to looks hard to sell but it goes back to a little bit of a flat should have mud guards back on it but that look at that nice mud guard i like that so these are all nicely welded on what we're going to do off the old rubber mounts just bring a bracket bracket down that fastens into there to tie there's a bit of wobble in it, not much. It's more at the back edge, look. So we'll tie them into there. That's all welded in nicely, look. So what we're gonna do, let's say that's what's in, just take that bit down there, in there. So that's the plan. Let's see some five mil out and we'll get it welded on. And then that is one side done. So that's the front bracket done. The bra back bracket's a bit bigger, but that's done. Little puddle welded hole. So yeah, coming along. So we've just got that center bracket there to do. I'm just gonna mark up this side, clean this side off, and uh, start tacking these on, and repeat the process again on this side. I don't think we're gonna be doing these today. Too wet for me. Look at it. I'm a fair weatherman, so 
that's it for this trailer i'm gonna finish it another day this silver side's about all welded on now which i'm happy about just and it's just making these brackets for the front and the rear it's starting to rain again so we're getting on as fast as we can so we want it done i'm just going to clean this bit and then it's going to fold the little the little piece to go over the middle aren't you certainly am certainly is so i've just got that piece to do a couple of corners to straighten off and this side is done oh yeah shows you good glove i spoil my staff here shows you best your best glove <laughs> it's not even doing anything that's that side all done as well little little bracket in between just to join them back together pen's all welded that little bracket puddled on so Ellie, it's doing the mud guards which is nice i think this trailer has been on its side at some point so we've got this and that to do so i'm going to cut that out look oh Ellie, it's even marked it ready so i'll just blast that out and blast that out of there Elliot's made these brackets already folded them don't even have to show him he's some boy isn't he so these are going to go on the front so that's what i'll cut out so that's it look at them even flapped out Whoop. look oh what what a weapon that is a big big trailer to say that that door there's three visas and i don't think it'd go in there it's a big trailer well, that's it done look a little bit of a mountain plate in the middle stop it falling off look at that axle braced up obviously very nice and then repaired that corner so that is it done watching this on friday there might be an episode on the panel work to finish that if you're watching it on sunday we'll have to wait for that but we have got a oh sneaky peek of something else coming this is what you say look you say see you in the next one see you in the next one see you in the next one